Marko Skop, your film Ivanova is the Slovak Republic's Oscar submission for the Foreign Language Film Oscar this year. Uh, tell us a little bit about the film and, and what attracted you to write and direct it. Uh, it's a story of an aging woman who freed herself of her son when she was young. Now she is 62 and she would like to reconcile with her child. Uh, the question is um, uh, if she deserves the second chance. The question is if it's not too late. Uh, there were several impetuses why to make this film. One of most important topics which I wanted to, ch to touch is the importance of the conscious decisions in our lives. As I see many times around me that people are just going with the flow and uh, not thinking about the consequences of their steps and behavior, uh, especially for their closest ones, which means the, the family and children. Uh, so this is why I decided to make this story with uh, a character who is uh, older, who has uh, big life experience, and uh, in this story, we can discover what happened in the past and what is possible to make in the future. She's also an actress, um, an aging actress in her 60s, so there's a whole other uh, layer underneath there. Um, now, you've come from the world of documentaries. This is your first foray into fiction filmmaking. Talk about making the transition into that. Uh, honestly, I don't see uh, like a huge difference between the documentary and fiction form. Uh, and the documentary filmmaking, uh, I'm also trying to create the situations with the protagonists. Uh, and the filmmaking uh, for the fiction, it's more scripted and much more prepared. But somehow, yeah, the filmmaking is the same. Well, certainly, I guess the goal is uh, the same and that you're always looking for the truth of the situation, wouldn't you say? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, also, in my uh, fiction feature debut, I was trying to be as authentic as possible, to use all the tools so that uh, the audience could uh, believe what they see on the screen, which means, on the first place, the psychological proof. Yeah. Uh, so that um, the behavior of the protagonists uh, is believable and I was trying to go more in depth. The same story uh, I could say also in the documentary film but as the children are, are also involved uh, in documentary filmmaking I would touch moral issues kind of ethical border you know what to show and the fiction form allowed me to be much more free and to show uh, whatever critical situations yeah, I wanted to. So take us through writing the script. What were some of the challenges, ups and downs, things like that? Uh, one of the crucial de decisions for me was to uh, decide about the ambitions of Eva as an actress. And I uh, decided at the end of the day uh, to make her as a person who doesn't have any high hopes in her career. She has high hopes towards the family and to the mistakes that she, she made in her life and that she wants to be good again and to repair things. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in casting, uh, you brought the great uh, Emilia Vesoyova. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced that name. Um, talk a little bit about what made her right for this part. Uh, Emilia Vasariova is a fantastic actress. She's also a very wise person and she's open-minded. Uh, and she was a favorite for me for this role because of her talent, first of all, but also because she is brave. And one of the important things for me was that the actress in the leading role should uh, be able to degrade herself. Uh, so that we see an abstinent alcoholic or somebody who went through really tough times in her life. And I wanted, because she's an actress and she's playing a little dramas, uh, I wanted to use close-ups, a lot of, you know, long shots, just uh, gazing at her face, which was very challenging. Uh, Emilia Vasharyova agreed with it. And I'm very grateful to her for this uh, open-minded approach. 
she is a very good actress, and so is Eva. Um, in fact, uh, one of the things that struck me was uh, a scene where she's performing to the uh, the group of, of uh, Alzheimer's patients. Um, and then later on, you see her uh, practicing apologies that she's going to give to her family. And it, it, it brings up an interesting point in the movie. It's like, what is truth and, and what is acting? You know, is it all just acting for actors? Can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, one of the things that really interests me is uh, the art of the interpretation. This is how I call it, which means that a certain situation, a communication situation, creates for you the right words, how you, which you use in it. For example, when we talk today now, two of us, I will describe this conversation a little bit in a different words to my parents and in a different words to my friends when we go to have a beer. It's not that I'm lying to any of, of them, but I'm just using, you know, some, some different vocabulary, uh, different grammar, depending on uh, to whom I talk. And the actors are the interpre interpreters of the situations. And this was, uh, for me, a very nice, intriguing challenge uh, while writing the script and then while uh, shooting uh, with the actors and making the performance on camera. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit more about um, the struggle that Eva has um, as, I mean, there's so much going on here. She's a recovering alcoholic. She's trying to uh, act more, but she's a woman of a certain age, and she's trying to reconnect with her family. So can you talk about juggling those different conflicts in the story? Uh, Eva, as everybody in a certain age, has uh, some life experience, some secrets. There were things that broke her, <laughs> they were breaking her, she had to deal with it. So uh, now we see like a complex person with many layers and as uh, when you have an onion, you know, and you have these, these layers, I wanted to show uh, in the film gradually uh, what happened with her in the past, what led her to the shape which we see now, who she is. Uh, this was one very important or crucial dramaturgical uh, point, uh, how to make it. Eva Nova is an actress. She was quite famous in the socialist time. Uh, during the communist regime, she was a piece in the showcase of the communist R, together with her husband, the prominent fil film director. And after the fall of the Iron Curtain, she found herself in the world she did not understand. She failed to adapt to the new conditions. Uh, her husband, the love of her life, left her for a younger woman, and she step by step hit rock bottom with alcohol. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, her child uh, was raised by her sister and her parents in a little hometown uh, far from the capital. Uh, and now she's trying to, to visit them and to reconcile with them, to make the right thing in her life. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I wanted to talk a little bit more about your aesthetic approach to the movie. You, you mentioned close-ups. Um, I wonder if you could talk a little bit more about what that uh, gives you as a filmmaker. Um, and also, I mean, you use this really interesting thing where uh, Ms. Uh, Varsayovis had a very long career in film and you use some of her um, old films. You integrate some footage from that in order to show the crux of her career. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a character-driven drama and I, uh, my ambition was uh, so that we experience as much as possible in Eva's shoes, in Eva's skin. Uh, that's why we decided to use the close-up to her face. Uh, not like uh, many other filmmakers, uh, for example, John Cassavetes made it so beautifully, putting the camera here behind your shoulder but to, to watch her face. Uh, so that we see also her little performances, uh, little plays that she acts towards the others. Uh, but also in some really very intense situations. Uh, we tried to watch to the audience, like through her eyes. Maybe you have noticed that, uh, for example, in this scene in the senior's home, all the audience is looking directly into the camera, like into Eva. Yeah. That's why uh, this was used because we wanted to, for the viewer to experience as much as possible 
to be in her skin. Uh, Emilia Vasharyova has a huge record uh, as an actress. Uh, there were there are so many articles and uh, media outputs out of her career, uh, so we recreated them with the prop master for the film, and we used the original photos. Uh, but with prop master, we changed everything uh, to the name Evanova to create this background of our main character. Mm. As I mentioned before, this is uh, the Slovak Republic's official uh, Oscar entry. Uh, you've also, you've won a couple of prizes for this film, including the uh, Fripreski Prize at uh, this year's Toronto Film Festival. What does that kind of recognition mean for you? Uh, like my ambition was to make a really deep psychological drama. It's on the viewers to judge if we have succeeded. And I was extremely happy in the editing room when I saw that all the important themes and topics are in the film. So this was for me the biggest win. Uh, but of course, it's a kind of very nice satisfaction that the film is running around the festival circuit, that it received the awards in, in uh, also in the United States, in Cleveland, we received a special mention for, for Emilia Vasharyova, but also the awards in Germany, Australia, uh, Russia, for example, uh, but first of all, the Fibrex Fibreski uh, Award in Toronto helped a lot to create a buzz also in the local media and helped a lot in the PR uh, uh, with the theatrical release in our country. Mm -hmm. Well, Marco, thank you so much and congratulations on the film and uh, good luck with it. It was a pleasure talking with you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking to you too.